In Brighton and Hove, we have a council that is committed to putting people first. You know, it's hard to think of a worse set of circumstances to see the first ever Green administration having to bring forward its first budget with Eric Pickles, that champion of localism, dictating all of the terms and the opposition parties joining forces locally to attack us. Hard to think of a worse sight than that of the local Labour Party. The Labour Party, putting aside all principles, working with the Conservatives to impose a new round of Conservative spending cuts on a city which in May rejected a Conservative administration. Now, I can understand why for Labour, the sight of a Green Council standing up to the Tories is an uncomfortable sight. The sight of a party sticking to its principles even when the going gets tough, it's a bit of a novelty in politics today. <laughs> but surely even that is no excuse for blue Labour to work with the Tories to undermine Green attempts to protect the most vulnerable in our city. conference, I'm proud of the way our Green councillors went about it. First of all, the Green administration talked to local people and listened to them. The biggest consultation on any budget in Brighton and Hove's history. And a real consultation, not just some PR exercise. And that meant they could act on what people said and adapt their plans to make the budget better. Second, they went after whatever waste they could find, consolidating council buildings, for example, and making sure they're energy efficient achieving carbon as well as financial savings. And third, they rejected the idea of freezing the council tax and so having to make yet further cuts, cuts not just in spending, but in services too. Green councillors had confidence in their case and look what's happened since they took that stand. Another 29 councils up and down the country have followed their lead and rejected the pickles bribe. And some of them, oddly enough, are Labour councils like Darlington and Nottingham. Others are Tory-controlled, old left bastions like ooh, Surrey or Cambridgeshire and West Devon. So their confidence means hundreds of thousands of people living in places where we don't even have a Green Councillor will be better protected too. Now we must take that confidence into the local elections, tell people about what we've done for other communities and how we'd help them. Not be distracted by the lies of the other parties, but keep on with our message that you can look after people even in hard times.